Last topic in the sliding contact bearings is the bearing materials used for sliding contact bearings. The first in it is that which are the properties of bearing materials? Which properties are required by bearing materials? So a bearing material should possess high compressive strength. Why? Because it has to withstand bearing pressure. It has to withstand bearing pressure. Pressure is load upon projected area. To avoid fatigue failure, the bearing must possess high fatigue strength. Conformability means it should adjust its shape under the application of load W, radial load W. Embeddability, the material should be such that it should allow dirt particles get embedded in its material. Dirt particles should get embedded in the bearing materials. Bearing materials should be such that there should not be any kind of corrosion oxidation. So it should have high corrosion resistance to avoid oxidation, avoid corrosion. The bearing material should have good thermal conductivity. Because if it will have good conductivity, thermal conductivity, the maximum heat dissipation from oil to its surrounding will take place. Last, second last is cost. Bearing material should not be very high cost, nor it should be of a lower cost or a degraded material. It should have a reasonable cost. And this material should be easily available in the market. It should not be such that it will take days, huge lot of time for you to acquire such bearing material. No, it should be easily available in the market. And what bearing materials should be used? Cast iron is one such bearing materials. Cast iron bearing and steel journal, this combination is used. Also, non-ferrous materials are preferred. Bronzes, babbits, copper and lead alloys are largely used in bearing materials. Tin. So alloys of various non-ferrous metals are preferred as bearing materials. We are not talking about journal materials. We are talking about bearing materials. Brass was used earlier and still used frequently because of its cheapness. Bronzes have taken up. They are alloy of copper and tin. Bronzes can take heavy loads, W. Radial load and an impact load and as such used in locomotives, rolling mills. But the problem with bronzes is that it has poor heat conductivity. And we right now saw in the properties required for bearing material that it should have good thermal conductivity so that heat dissipation from oil to the surroundings should take place properly. Babbits are the most frequent used bearing materials in sliding contact bearing. This word is very, very important when it comes to bearing materials because it has anti-friction properties. And that's what we did throughout in our solid, uh, sorry, hydrodynamic bearings. We use coefficient of friction. We found out uh, power lost in friction because we always want to see how much power is lost. So Babbitt has anti-friction properties than bronzes. And that's why Babbitt's are more preferred over bronzes. It above absorbs impact load. It absorbs vibration. It can sustain vibration as well. Serves good under speed and pressure. Increase in speed and increase in pressure. Babbitt's can work along nicely. Babbits can nicely fuse with steel, tinned bronze, bronze in which tin, amount of tin, 
is more. And its state, it provides good compressive strength. The first property that we saw was the compressive strength that the bearing material should have. So babbits have good compressive strength. They have anti-friction properties. They can sustain impact vibrations. They are good under high speed and pressure. Babbit does not fuse with cast iron. And so with its backing, it has to be anchored into dowtel slots or drilled holes. You have to make these. Copper alloys, 75% copper, 25% of tin lead typically have melting point 980 degree C as compared to 200 degree C melting point of Babbit. Aluminium and tin alloys can retain high strength at higher temperatures. So see guys, what I'm trying to say is that randomly the material should not be chosen. You have to choose a particular material based on what are the conditions under which your bearing is going to perform. Based on that, you have to select your bearing material. There is a material called lignum vitae, very extensively used as bearing material and there are several bearing applications. Why? Water as a lubricant can be used here and it has anti-friction properties. Its wear is less as compared to other bearing materials. It is successfully used in vertical water turbine, paper mill machinery, marine service, where water is used. And even roll neck bearings of rolling mills. So like I said, based on application, you have to select the proper bearing material. This word is very important. Based on application, you have to select a proper bearing material. Wherever water is used as lubricant, obviously you can use rubber bearings. Sand and grit are present. Soft vulcanized rubber bearings should be used because in water, sand, grit, such particles would be present. Then rubber bearings are preferred. Why? They are soft, they are tough. The resilient rubber acts as a yielding support, permitting the grit to pass through the bearing and without the scoring failure. Moving ahead, guys. So we have seen so many materials, babbits, lignum vitae, bronze alloys, brasses, aluminum alloys, non-ferrous metals are typically used. So we have been mostly using centrifugal pumps, numericals. We have been mostly solving problems of centrifugal pumps. Then the question should arise in your mind that in centrifugal pump, what do we use? Rubber bearings. They have been successfully used because water would be there around. Then the bearing material should sustain that. Corrosion should not happen. Cushioning properties are required. Resilience properties are required in that condition which rubber can provide. Also, it should sustain against the vibrations and high speeds of the shaft. Composite materials, synthetic and neutral composite materials, plastics, reinforced plastics, they are also used nowadays as bearing materials. And such bearing materials also have self-lubricating properties nowadays. Powder metallurgy is one of the medium where the bushings are prepared with powder metallurgy method so that porosity is achieved, good anti-friction properties are achieved. Ball indented bearings are nowadays used. 
where they store the lubricant. So guys, there are n number of materials. If I talk about bearing materials, which can be used. Thank you.